hey guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well i've just finished working and i'm about to prepare iftar i've got about one and a half hours to make the iftar so it's going to be something really quick really easy today's theme is vegetarian so we're going to go for all vegetarian options basically and the first thing i'm going to tackle is the vegetable pilau rice so i think my last vlog I was at my mom's house. We did iftar over there. My mom made a really delicious, delicious, <laughs> delicious vegetable pilau rice. And I was so inspired and I really want to recreate it. But with my little twist. So we're going to add broccoli and I've got some peas and um, sweet corn there. So I'm going to make it and I'll show you guys how I do this. So I've got a handy right there with the agun and I've got some onions. And I've got some ghee here, so I'm going to add about that much ghee. And let's see how much it melts down to. I need to get the ginger and garlic out, guys. Gonna add a little bit more ghee. Okay, let's add the garlic and ginger paste. I'm gonna add one heaped tablespoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lara, don't they? Yeah, spitting at me. So I'm going to add these dry spices, so cardamom, a cinnamon stick and some bay leaves. Give it a good mix, babe. Go. And we're also going to add some onions. So one handful of onions should be more than enough. Okay. We're going to make that go nice and brown. And then, uh, do I cover it up? Or should I just leave it? Leave it. Okay. Can you put this ghee back for me, please, in the dryer? So I'm going to add some salt, guys. About that much. To be more than enough. Right, so one of the other things that we are making are these potato scallops. And in Bengali, I call them alur sakha sakha. So the way I make these is basically you make a batter, you put the uh, uh, potato slices in the batter and you fry it, deep fry it. And it's so delicious. And what you need is gram flour. For real? Gram flour first, and then you'll need some spices. So I'm going to use turmeric, hey, hey. dunya, what's wrong? So we're going to add some. We're going to add some of these. Actually, I shouldn't have added it to that. Am I shida? Anyways, so a little bit of turmeric some dunya and some zira and a bit of salt and then we're just gonna sift this in here so 
So we're going to add some broccoli to that mix. And I'm also going to add some sweet corn and also some green peas. Come on, I do What we're gonna do is add some spices to this as well. So, actually, no turmeric. So, a little bit of coriander powder. And a little bit of zida powder. Let's give that a good, lovely little mix. Put the gas up and let it cook through. So we're gonna add the rice now, guys. This is pre-soaked rice and there's two cups of it. So I'm gonna add all of it and let this fry in this vegetable mix for a bit. After a few minutes we're going to add hot boiling water. All the batter powder is sif sieved really well. I'm going to add some warm water and make a lovely little paste i want it to be a bit runny and not like completely thick my water Yep, this is perfect. Right, so the rice has been frying for a few minutes now. What I'm going to do now is add hot boiling water. And you want enough water to cover the top of the rice. I'm going to put it on high heat. And about this much might be perfect. I hope it is. I hope it's not too much, guys. Oh no. Okay, just leave it like this for now. Let it boil and I'll come back to this, guys. Guys, when you get to this stage where all the water's been um, soaked up by the rice, this is the point where you give it a little um, mix. You put the gas down and then you want to cover it up with some foil. Why do you cover it up with foil? So that the rice can get really pop up cooked. So if it, does it pop it up? Steams Ste up to the <laughs> max. Okay. Cute. And we've got the gas down completely. Right. So the next thing that we're going to make is aloo chop. So we're going to use cheese and onion mash. You can use real potatoes if you want, but this we ain't got the, time. This is the cheap way of making it. Yeah, okay. this is a hack. This is the hack that we've been using for many years now, actually. And what you want to do... Add a bit of water. Add a good amount of boiling hot water. Mix it up. You have too much. You want it to be quite thick, innit? Yeah, and then I'm going to let it cool down for a bit before I add the other ingredients. Guys, it's the moment 
of truth and we're going to see if the pita rice is cooked oh my god that looks so delicious it smells really nice by the way but my husband's like wow it smells so good it looks done yeah the way to check is you just basically squeeze a brain and oh my god it's so soft it's perfect it's not dakta it's burning it's at the bottom hard. a bit it's a little bit burned but these crispy bits are oh. so delicious by the way i'm going to switch the oven off and just leave it so it stays nice and warm is that bob's your uncle bob's your uncle guys right so my mash is all nice and cooled down now what i'm going to do is add a bit of salt like so and we're gonna add some curry um coriander onion actually we need coriander okay. onions yeah we do need coriander and then i'm also gonna add these green chilies uh, let me run and get some coriander guys i'm back with the coriander and sadly i had a little accident and yeah. it broke so yeah, i just need to add it there perfect now let's give this a good mix i'm gonna mix it with my hands don't worry i have washed my hands are you sure yes i am i don't trust you if this had some um fork modis that would be nice but we did have fork modis where well, screen chili is good enough yeah. no, we don't have fork modis uh, it's really sticky babe okay that's good so no, don't this with my hands we don't even have gloves. I told you to order some oh, online. Oh shit, look. What do I do? Okay. Just guys. carry on. Soldier it. Right, so what I'm going to do is make little balls. Oh, it's a piece of powder. Add some more powder. No. Quite powder. Right, so you guys, we've got little balls now. What we're going to do is dip it in the... Ender. You don't know you know what we don't even need to put it in the ender we do the, how the breadcrumbs gonna be stuck it'll get stuck because it's no really it's not no, no. Yeah, yeah. exactly you and our cnos okay anyways stick it in the egg but then you stick it in the breadcrumb guys like this how gorgeous does that look awesome. and then we are gonna deep fry these and then put this on a plate so remember this is an easy hack guys cheating version it's really sticky let me just tell you that okay a bit of egg and a bit of roly to roly roly poly in there i mean yep looking good yes yes to be the last all all of it yeah stick us in khayal le muzmune i'll tell you after eat if it's good or not okay it's time to fry everything we are going to start off with the scallops let's give this a little twirl and then get rid of this whisk in the sink and then what we're going to do is add the potatoes into the mix just throw it in one by one okay is the oil hot let's give it a little clean yeah, it's almost done. Cool. Can I add some pe black pepper to it? No. Why not? Can you be asked? Add some black pepper to it, I said. Right okay. now. Okay, bismillah.
So it's foaming up. Why is it foaming up? I don't know. This looks weird. I think it's probably the powder or something else in it. Or did they mix it with, uh, you know, like fairy liquid or something? That paste? <coughs> Is this normal, guys? I don't know. No, oh, this doesn't normally happen. I always make this. They definitely added fairy liquid in that thing then, anyway. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't even see where I'm dying there now. Open your eyes and you will see. Okay, very good. Oh, right there. Yummy. Mm -hmm. You can't lie. You said you can't see if I'm helping you. Nope. It's burning, guys. Yeah, you keep your eyes off it for one moment and I that's just, it. I just got on my phone for a couple of seconds. Yeah, well, a couple of seconds. Hey, I know this one was Because we're running out of time, I've decided to put these in the air fryer. Um, let's see how they come out. Hopefully, they should be okay actually. But yeah, let's stick these in. And we'll put these three in the oil and see which one turns out better. What do you say? Yeah. Air fry. We're going to start plating everything up, guys. First, we're doing the husband's plate. It's almost time. There's about five minutes left. I'm going to give some generous amount of oh, wait for the fire, please. generous amount of pilar rice okay and then we're also going to give loads of yeah, potato scallops and then wait for these to be done she oh. decided to fry them now so these are yeah, we were gonna put them in the air fryer and I was like, it's taking too long guys. Time reserve, so I thought I am just gonna air fry these bad, not air fry, fry these, deep fry these. Almost done. They're partially cooked inside the air fryer, weren't they? Yeah. So these are done guys. I say, can you switch off the thingy? Okay, perfect. Excuse me. 